Solid hydrogen storage revolutionizes the market. Imagine never going to a gas station ever again to refuel your car. All you need is a flashlight and you're good to go. Plasma Kinetics, the promising startup for all things energy, has done the previously impossible. They've created innovative, cost-efficient hydrogen storage. Imagine a world where hydrogen-powered cars dominate the streets and thousands, if not millions of homes are powered by hydrogen instead of these energy oligarchs. So if you want to see a world where cars travel longer distances and homes are powered by clean energy, stay tuned! Hydrogen has been hailed as the fuel of the future, and for good reason. It powered the first internal combustion engine to run on gasoline in 1806. It's made using carbon dioxide from fossil fuels in the chemical and refining sectors to make hydrogen today. You might be wondering, what's so special about hydrogen? Well, for starters, large transportation vehicles like trains, buses, and ships already rely heavily on hydrogen. That's because these large-scale vehicles need a lot of energy to operate, something that batteries can provide. Now, while hydrogen may be one of the most efficient sources of energy, hydrogen-powered vehicles have a higher driver range and a shorter refilling time. There is still an issue. How can companies safely and economically store hydrogen on board? High-pressure containers are needed in order to store hydrogen as a gas. These containers are expensive and difficult to maintain. Bummer, right? And to think, hydrogen really is such a lucrative and efficient energy source. In fact, compared to batteries, fuel cell electric vehicles can be much more efficient because these hydrogen-powered cars can travel a longer distance and have a shorter refilling time. That's pretty efficient. There are several methods that companies can use to harness hydrogen as an energy source. The first way is to use high-pressure containers to store hydrogen as a gas. The second method would be to compress it and transform it into a liquid. However, hydrogen boils at an extremely high rate, so companies would have to cool it down and put it in a cryogenic tank. And boy, do these things cost. Here's the cool part. When compared to storing a liquid molecule, solid storage of single atoms would pack more hydrogen into a small space. This method also doesn't require high pressure or cold temperatures. That makes it more cost-effective. Hydrogen-powered electric vehicles might even be able to compete with gasoline-powered automobiles and even battery-powered electric vehicles. And this is all thanks to this low-cost method, which boosts the car's driving range. Awesome, right? So, what is this magic method? Nothing more than solid-state hydrogen storage. Many studies have been conducted on this method, specifically on its application. This is why the future looks promising. Here's the 411 on this cost-effective method. There are normally two ways to attach hydrogen to a metallic complex. This involves the process of hydrogen molecules or individual atoms absorbing into solid surfaces. The adsorbent is a term for that surface. Absorbents are able to attach the hydrogen to their internal structure by, you guessed it, absorption. The result? Metal hydride in both circumstances. Here's where the interesting part comes in. Plasma Kinetics, a startup company has come up with a new approach. They use a three-pronged, zero-carbon system that does various jobs, capture, storage, and transport. According to them, this technology is innovative as it offers a greater energy capacity and lower cost than lithium-ion batteries. The recharge time is five minutes. Yep, that's right, five minutes! The technology behind it is mind-boggling as well. The tech that exists in this world is now unbelievable. This is the stuff of sci-fi movies. Basically, what happens is that they use a light-activated nanoscale sheet that is 10 times thinner than human hair. Now, the company claims that this sheet has the ability to capture hydrogen from the air. What happens is that this hydrogen sponge traps gas at low temperatures and pressures. The result, a cost-effective, efficient energy source for both consumers and businesses. Now, here's where things go Tony Stark cool. All people have to do is shine some light on the film in order to get the hydrogen out. Isn't that some cool stuff? In fact, this project was so innovative that it was banned. Long story short, this concept began during a presentation to the U.S. Department of Energy in 2009. Plasma Kinetic unveiled their light-activated energy source, or LASTEC, which they first described as transformative. But after some time, the company pivoted and began describing their tech as disruptive. 
This technology was guarded by the U.S. national security, so the U.S. government put a hold on plasma kinetics patents until 2017. As a result, their progress was slowed down. What's the big deal about this? Well, in order to capture the hydrogen at atmospheric pressure and ambient temperature, plasma kinetics developed a nanophotonic filter. This system can harvest 99.99% .99 pure hydrogen. Yes, I said 99.99%. .99%. Ain't that a steal? This system harvests the hydrogen directly from smokestacks and gas streams, and it also has the ability to solidify it in metric tons per day. So, how realistic is it to implement this? And what makes this system cutting edge? Well, for starters, material selection appears to be very important in the creation of this system. Despite resembling plastic, SMA is defined as an alloy that retains its shape even after it has been reshaped. Here's how it works. Molding this material at a low temperature and then heating it to restore it to its former shape is normal. SMAs are made of nickel and titanium alloys. This earth metal is also a key component in chlorophyll, the photosynthetic pigment used by plants. This is exactly why the substance used by the company interacts with light. Don't go into the light yet though. This sick science stuff may be complicated, but there's nothing we can't simplify for you. Light-activated hydrogen CDs and lightning-fast electric cars? This ain't a thing of science movies. This is all real. Here's how it happens. When comparing light-activated hydrides with ordinary metal hydrides, this material is the most crucial distinction. The second material that the company uses relies on reversible absorption to connect hydrogen atoms to their solid framework. The kicker is that the hydrogen must be released at temperatures of up to 200 degrees Celsius or 392 Fahrenheit. The startup has referred to its product as a DVD player or CD projector, with the user simply shining a beam of light on the hydrogen-filled material to release it. When the light strikes the film, it changes the polarity of the link from negative to positive, releasing the hydrogen atoms. Doesn't this sound unreal? So how does this work with cars? Well, basically, the way it's supposed to work is that users buy a hydrogen-filled disc cartridge from a convenience store. No joke, a convenience store. Then, when the hydrogen-filled disc runs out, the user just has to take it back and exchange it for a new one. Easy peasy, right? And it's no hassle too, since it only takes a few minutes to replace the cartridges in a vehicle. This tech is really revolutionary. And not just with vehicles, this tech can make green hydrogen even greener. Here's how. Hydrogen is produced through electrolysis driven by renewable sources that would be stored in plasma kinetic storage facility. Then, in order to generate green electricity, people can just feed hydrogen into the fuel cells. On dark or windless days, this system would fill in the gaps in clean power supply, making renewable-based grids more adaptable. And this system can also be distributed. According to Plasma Kinetics, they can distribute hydrogen by securely transporting 20,000 tons of hydrogen on a single ship by loading their containers one at a time. And that's a lot. It's enough to power over 25,000 homes for a year. Hydrogen is an innovative source of energy, one that would make everything from vehicles to homes and other companies more efficient and cost-friendly. Fantastic as it seems, it's definitely still a few years away from being a norm in society. Hydrogen is the future. Don't you agree? Please tell us your opinion in the comments below.